And now to express the commitment of the Philippine government, let's hear from the Office of the Presidential Advisor on Peace, Reconciliation, and Unity, Secretary Carlito G. Galvez. A round of applause, please. Thank, thank you very much. My uh, court is uh, to all uh, the guests, especially to Honorable Ahod uh, Balawag Murad Ibrahim al Haj, the BARM Chief Minister and also the Chairman of the MILF, Sir, my highest courtesy to you. Our former OPAP Secretary, the Honorable Teresita King Deles, a board member of the Principal for Peace Foundation, and her husband, Mr. Jojo Deles. Madam. My mentor uh, during uh, when I was the MILF CCCH chief. To my friend, His Excellency Tan Sri Sulkipli Sainan Abidin, uh, the, our dear Malaysia, uh, Malaysian facilitator, and my former counterpart, former chief of staff of Malaysian uh, Defense, chief of defense. To our friend, Minister Muhakir Iqbal, Ministry of Basic Higher and Technical Education and Chairman of the MILA Peace Panel, at the same time, the co-chair of the Intergovernmental Relations Body, IGRB. The provincial governor of Maginero del Norte, Governor Abdul Raouf Makakwa, and the Chief of Staff of uh, the BIA. Governor Emilu Talino Mendoza, the province of Cotabato, uh, the friend of our special assistant, Sir Anton. Professor Miriam Coronel Ferrer, the former chair of the Government Peace Panel, and our Manuel Ecason, uh, uh, our, our, sorry, our awardee, Magsaysay awardee. Presidential Assistant Cesar Villano, the chairman of the GPS Peace Implementing Panel, Madam Amina Rasul, the President of Philippine Center for Islam De Democracy and member of the Board of Regents of Mindanao State University, Madam. Honorable Karen Tanyada, the Executive Director of the Caston C. Ortigas Peace Institute. Ms. Irene Santiago, the former G GPH uh, chair Chairperson. Major General Alex Rillera, the Commander of 6th Infantry Division. Police Major General Victor Wachakan, the Ajak. Brigadier General Nasser Didasan, the Chairman of the CH. Honorable Hashim Mantikayan, the Chairman of League of Bangsamoro Organization. Honorable Ahmad Yasid Otman, the representative of Dato Otman Abdurazak, the former Malaysian Third Facilitator. Facility Honorable Shariar Bin Tenku of Gafar, representative of late late uh, Malaysian Presidator Gaptenku, Datu Ab Gapar Muhammad. Executive Director Jordan S. Bayam, Executive Director for the Bansa Moro Cluster, Executive Director Cesar de Mesa, Executive Director of Local Conflict Transformation, Honorable Commissioner Jamar Kulayan, representing the National Amnesty Commission, Honorable Members of the International and Local Peace Partners present, District members of uh, the Bansamoro Parliament present here. Civil society organization, other peace partners, our MILF brothers and sisters, our former combatants and families, men and women of the Armed Forces of the Philippines and the Philippine National Police, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Let me first greet all the women present here Happy International Women's Month, particularly those who are with, with us all throughout the process of the Bangsamoro Peace Process over the years. Palakpakan po natin ang ating uh, mga kababaihan. I still remember, Honorable Chief Minister, when I'm here on October 6, 2018, during my visit as a former Chief of Staff, it is the longest cordon honor that I have uh, received accord on honor from Cotabato City to Simuay. And I, when I see the hall that uh, you have received to me, that was uh, the hall that we declared war is over. 
I have a news clipping of five newspapers with our pictures. War is over. Those days, there are many uncertainties, but today we have seen the light. With the signing of the Comprehensive Agreement on the Bangsamoro a decade ago, the government of the Philippines and the Moro Islamic Liberation Front embarked in a historic journey that has brought us closer to our shared goal of fostering great peace, development, and stability in the region. I would like to thank Minister Mohakir Iqbal and also Madam Miriam Coronel and also with the leadership of Secretary Deles for really bringing us here today. Thank you. Let's give them a round of applause again. The path that we have taken since the agreement was forged has dramatically transformed the security, socio-economic, and socio-political landscape of the Bangsamoro region and the rest of Mindanao. It has paved the way for a future that is filled with aspiration, hope, and promise of a better life for the Bangsamoro people and all Filipinos. The establishment of the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region of Muslim Mindanao or the BARM government has been a cornerstone achievement under the CAB, providing a framework for governance that respects the diversity and rights of its people while fostering an environment conducive to economic growth, social equity, and peace. Last January, we have heard the report of our beloved Chief Minister, Ahod Balawag Ibrahim, on the significant milestone on the BARM during its fifth founding anniversary. And some of this accomplishment has been re-echoed again today by our Minister, Minister Iqbal. Secretary Anton Lagdameo Jr. commended the BARM for their continued progress and achievements. And also the President is very, very much happy of what we have already achieved right now. Our congratulations to our BARM leadership, our different ministries, and the BARM government, Bangsamoro Parliament. Again, I would like to uh, take this opportunity for a big applause to the BARM government, the PTA, and the BARM ministries for all the achievements that we have achieved over the years. Speaking of the Bansamoro Transition Authority, we are now more united with the equitable representation from the MILF leadership, the MNLF, the Danius people, the youth women, from the national technocrats, and the representation from the younger generations of the forebearers of the Bangsamoro struggle. The progress in the normalization process, the strengthening of the democratic institutions, and the implementation of the development programs aim at uplifting the living conditions of our Bangsamoro brothers and sisters are all major accomplishments that have contributed to the normalization process for MILF combatants, their families, and communities. In order to respond to the, some of the gaps that uh, Minister Iqbal have said earlier, the last inter-cabinet cluster mechanism or normalization meeting on 19 March 2024 was convened to focus on the socio-economic security and transitional justice, which was attended by four secretaries and the Minister of Agriculture, Fisheries and Agri-Reform, Minister Dr. Muhammad Shahid Yaqub, was very successful, including the commitment of the Department of Agriculture and National Irrigation Association Administration to irrigate more or less 45,000 unirrigated lands covering the camp of Abukar, Omar, Rajamuda, and also the other camps. If I, you let me read some of the projects, the irrigation projects include the Malitubog Maridagao Irrigation Project 2, which is covering Camp Rajamuda, Lower Malitabog Irrigation Project, which is uh, covering Camp Omar, the Anton Irrigation Project, which is covering Abubakar, 
the Ambal Irrigation Project, which cover OP in Maguindanao, and also the Lebak River Irrigation Project, which covers also Kampabubakar, and also the Buldon River Irrigation Project, which is worth 8.58 billion, covering the Barangay Municipality of Buldon, Maguindanao del Norte, and also lastly, the Simway Irrigation Project. I would like to know, to announce to you that the President has attended the last IGRB meeting and also he attended the March to SALW project in Basilan. The two speeches that he, he announced during those times, he said that a strong barn is a strong Mindanao and a strong Mindanao is strong Philippines and he will convert Basilan, before an eco center of uh, it's a center of the Abu Sayyaf. Now it will become became an epicenter of hope, peace, and development. And we are looking for a good, you no know, good uh, uh, time. We are communicating with PMS. He might be visiting again, Barm, and we'll just uh, no, we'll just uh, wait for the announcement. And he will announce some of the agricultural project, including the rehabilitation of our seaweed project in Sambasulta, and also uh, the re reinvigoration of our fishing industry. The creation of the National Transitional Justice Commission is also moving forward to the Senate. We have already had two meetings, and hopefully it will be fully enacted soon, similar to the concurrence of the Philippine Congress to the amnesty proclamation, hopefully we can have it maybe this month or maybe uh, this coming, you know, this coming April or May. 180 million housing project is also allocated this year to Camp Bilal and Camp Abu Bakar in co coordination with Joint Task Force Camp and Joint Task Force Decommissioning Combatants. The Pamana projects have given 1.7 billion farm-to-market roads, water system, roads and bridges, and sustainable livelihood programs will also be implemented this year, and hopefully it will double or triple next year. As we look to the future, let us all remember that the peace is not merely the absence of conflict and sometimes disagreement, but the presence of justice, opportunity, and understanding. We must nurture and defend this peace, building bridges where walls once stood and forge a path of progress that honors the sacrifices of the Bangsamoro brothers and sisters to build a better and brighter tomorrow. The 10th anniversary of the CAP is a celebration of what we have achieved and a reaffirmation of our pledge to continue building a future anchor on peace, prosperity, and solidarity for all. Together, as we stand united in purpose and action, we can ensure that this beacon of hope will shine brighter than ever. And for the spirit of Ramadan, and also for the Christians who are also sacrificing uh, this year of our Holy, Holy Week, we have an aspiration and commitment and a covenant that uh, the, 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 one of the best commandments that is given to us is to love one another. And that covenant is normally being given to husband and wives. I can liken the covenant that we have right now, that we will always commit for poor, for the better or worse. The peace process will continue. And the President has an unwavering support to the peace process. And you have seen this today because one of the fruits of our peace process, and we have now an MILF governor, Governor Makakua, in Governor, uh, governor of Maguindanao del Sur. And lastly, as a friend, it is my commitment, and as a Christian, and a brother of Muslim, that I'm willing to give my life for a, for a friend, and that's the best gift that we can give for a friend. So, mabuhay ang kab, Mabuhay ang prosesong pangkapayapaan sa Bangsamoro. Mabuhay ang sambayanang Pilipino. Thank you.